oh my god oh my god finally got the package that i thought was the package from yesterday's post or the day before hello hello my name is jenna and this is the covet list today we're doing an unboxing of a very exciting package i've already seen the label so i know exactly what it is but it still doesn't kick out the excitement of opening a package um and getting new stuff so Unfortunately, I'm a little bit materialistic in that way, but we're gonna get right into it. This is probably the most expensive second to my re-upping on my supplies for my microblading and lash business. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> okay, okay. Okay. This is just the receipt. I'm just gonna pull it kind of like one by one. And we're just gonna go from there. So the first thing that I see in the box, okay, you have no idea how freaking excited I am. Also, if you see these little dots on my face, you probably couldn't even see, but I just got a re-up on my Botox today. I did it here, my masseter, mainly for clenching. Um, it was instant relief when she injected it. Uh, and then here, but I don't know if it'll work here because it's my first time getting it in this area. Um, for my crow's feet area, it's worked really well. I've gotten it, this would be my third time now getting the brow lift and the crow's feet area. Um, for my masseters, I've done it several times. I can't really think, probably less than 10 times, but probably, probably like five, six times maybe. Okay, anyways, so if you see any red dots, that's what it is. You probably didn't even see it, but I did just want to share, okay? Because it is sort of related. So the first item here is the Metacube. Mm-hmm, Metacube Deep Vita C Mask. And I think these came as free gifts because I definitely did not order these. And let me just double check here. I know Metacube kind of has a lot of fragrance in their products, so... I don't think that I'll keep these. I'll probably give them away or sell them. This is a cradle. So it's a stand for the machines that I'm about to show you. Here we go. What is this? This is, whoa, this is like a full size product. This is the Triple Deep Erasing Cream. What is this? Erasing what though? What is it erasing? Moisturizing cream that helps to make the skin look plump by keeping the skin hydrated. Okay, so it's just a regular moisturizer. The ingredients are so hard to see because it's white on like light corally pink. But just, okay. The ingredients look pretty good. Um, I just have to double check later to see if this product has fragrance because if it does, I'm probably not gonna use it. Uh, but yes, this is the Triple Deep Erasing Cream. And then, oof, two more products. Oh, okay, okay. So these are just the conductor gel. So this is the Age R, Medicube H, Age R Booster Gel. Yeah, so I think these are for, do, 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 do. yeah. These are just for the machines or the, gadgets or the what do you call them what's the word i'm looking for devices that i got oh my goodness okay so if you guys know or maybe you don't metacube had a really great sale during black friday and in order to get a discount as big as the one that they had on black friday you usually have to be a member they have a membership where you pay a bit i think about $40 for the entire year and then you get about 40% off of their products or 50% so while the devices are maybe like up to 600 some are like 700 um, or wait am I saying those wrong if I'm remembering correctly um, with the discounts the devices usually come down to like 250 or 300 but I actually used um, Uni Unis 
10% code, which was stackable with the sale. Wow, wow, wow. So I got even better of a discount. So um, actually, oh my gosh, I'm name dropping so many people, so I bet it's confusing, but um, Tati actually worked with this company, Medicube, this Korean company, and they created a set of her like three favorite products, which is basically just everything in their HR line, uh, which first of all, let me show you. Oh, this is the Derma EMS shot, um, which is just, you know, your typical, I mean, you know exactly what this is. So it's for your face and it stimulates the muscle or it stimulates the skin on the surface level. Um, it helps to depuff and it could provide a lift uh, on certain muscles if you do want it to, especially like this cheek area, if you want it to puff up a little bit. Uh, that would really help but I actually instead of because I got three devices I am all over the place I'm so sorry um, I got three devices because one I had previously tried or had the zip device as well as the what was the other one called uh, I don't remember but it's like really it's pretty popular a lot of people know the brand um, it's also like one of these like EMS devices, like electro mag current, any who's, oh my goodness. But I thoroughly believe that the Medicube technology is probably a lot better. I've seen a lot of people use this and when they glide on their face over some muscles, it's able to actually pull their lip or their muscles and stimulate it in a way that actually stimulates the muscle as opposed to the zip device and the other device that i can't remember um, for the life of me right now those two they were a little bit weaker so even though i could see gradual results if i use them on a daily um they weren't results that i liked and let me just move you a little closer i think you see the the couch that this phone setup is resting on um and also this has a slim and body mode so it's great for toning up these jiggly arms as well so which is why i wanted to get this as well um the main reason though is because i don't think it's atrophy but i think the muscles on the right side of my face are a lot weaker um which explains why a lot of the times when i get botox i usually have to put more on this side of my face um so i just want to i know it's like counterintuitive it's like getting botox but wanting to strengthen the muscle but i do want to strengthen the muscle in a way so that my face is evenly mm, clenched i don't know but i want the muscles to be even so that i could you know hopefully achieve a little bit more uh symmetricalness okay let's actually can i open this Mm -mm -mm. okay i'm not gonna open this i will actually create another video with my first impressions and maybe one with a review okay so the second device these or the last two devices i'm pretty damn excited about this is the hrats air shot and it looks like this and essentially what this device does is it gently shocks your face but in a way where it mimics microneedling i've always wanted to get microneedling done especially for my pore area there have been some studies that they've done um clinical trial trials that were sponsored by the company so maybe trustworthy maybe not but uh, a lot of reviews um, on YouTube have said that they have seen a difference, but you do have to, of course, use it, use it gradually. And in my opinion, I do prefer something like this over actually going to a clinic and microneedling my skin. I've just kind of always been like that where I prefer to do things at home. So I'm super excited for this and definitely will create a video about that as well. And this last one, oof. If I didn't get the other two, I would have been okay, but this one I was pretty excited about because for the last or within the last three years, I've gotten one treatment of all therapy on my face and I loved the results. It wasn't super dramatic, but it was notice like noticeable enough for me 
to see a change in the structure of my skin um, and how lifted my skin felt. So actually, the year that I went to get all there done, I think it was last year or the, the previous year. I don't remember, but I had gotten Botox I think two to three weeks prior and then I got the Ulthera and then what I noticed was because I was scared that okay like if I get Botox and I have excess skin there it's just gonna look droopy because there's no muscle supporting the skin so I got Ulthera to helpful like to help tighten the skin so that if there was any loose skin it would just kind of you know bring it up of course aging stress not having a good diet not sleeping well all contribute to like sagging skin of course gravity um and so i actually had an appointment this year and i canceled it literally yesterday um after thinking about it because i was like okay well i'm already going to be getting the device that i'm about to talk about so why not just use this as a chance to actually thoroughly test the product to see if there is a noticeable difference um, and like I said before like this side of my face I don't know if you guys can see it just like looks a little bit flatter as well I I know it's because of my bone structure like this bone you see how like my my just entire bone structure is just slanted this way um, but the skin can definitely be helped hopefully um so i would like to hear like i see a little bit of not jowling but just a little bit of excess like looser skin here and i just want to lift it like this like this and i know you're probably like you're crazy like that's barely a difference nobody's gonna notice you can just cover it with makeup but yes i know but you know yolo and i would like to look good okay so enough talking. This is the HR Ucera, Ucera, as if you know it's a play on words for Ulthera. Ucera Deep Shot. So this is not the same technology, I don't think, as uh, all therapy, but this one uses, I think, radio radio waves. If I'm not mistaken, I forget. Um, but it's got radio waves, red light therapy, and something else that kind of helps as well to lift the skin. So um, it was between this and the Amiro device that I've been seeing, oh my gosh, constantly on my Instagram. They know, they know that I'm a sucker for these devices. So yes, I'm super excited to try this out. I really do hope that it works. Um, yeah, I... I'm excited and I think that with consistent use, I'll probably get the same results as Althera. Althera is hella expensive if you go to a clinic that is known one and um, is more experienced, I guess, or like backed by dermatologists or a dermatologist clinic. So it's a pretty penny. I really wanted to save it. Like, save money because the cost of these three devices is the cost of one treatment of Ulthera. So just to give you perspective on how much that is, and mind you, these were on sale. So the sale price is like, I wanna say the sale price of everything here is one third of one Ulthera treatment. That's how, that's how expensive Ulthera is for something that is so, minimal in the results that you get granted i know i'm young um and i know that more dramatic results are usually seen in elder women um where they have noticeable skin laxity but again like i notice my skin laxity okay i know y'all are like where bitch where but i i'm a little i'm a little uh what's what's the word self-critical but in a good way i don't hate my face or anything but anyways enough talking i'm super interested to try this so this was my mini haul for today was my package from medicube i think i have i want to say one two three four just about five or six more packages that are will be arriving so 
I am super excited to conclude, um, hopefully by the next two weeks, um, the rest of my Black Friday haul. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you would like to see more of me. On this channel, you will eventually be seeing a little bit more elevated content, um, especially regarding budgeting and not minim not minimalism, but budgeting and saving money and using products up that you already have. Uh, maybe a little bit of declutter videos, but just different ways where I will try to make myself feel better with everything that I already have instead of constantly accumulating new stuff. So if you are interested in that, uh, as well as potentially like daily vlogs and whatnot, then please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.